What's up YouTube? This is Syndrome here and finally happening first YouTube tutorial and in this one let's kick it off with the good old Chrome 3D effect for Adobe Photoshop. I'll be showing you how to do it with some nice bloom, reflection, adding sparkles and a real cool noise to it in the end so you, you might want to stick around for that. So yeah my guys without further ado let's get it. Roll the intro that's completely not try hard. Okay guys, so once we have Photoshop open, let's create a new file. Here I'm gonna work it 4000 by 4000, 72 dpi. If you're gonna use this for print, make it 300. It will make the file size a bit larger and the file sluggish to work with, but for the sake of the tutorial, we're gonna do it in 72. Let's hit create. I'm gonna get rid of the artboard here. I always merge it. I don't tend to work with artboards. I don't know what's the purpose or how to do it. If you know, let me know below. So right now I'm gonna import this shape that I did, get rid of the background. So yeah, here you can directly type or bring in your logo or whatever graphic you need to do, a vector maybe. Just make sure that has like really clear, well-defined edges, no pixelation and no ragged edges for the effect to display perfectly. So once we have this, I like to make it a smart object. A quick way to do it is make a new layer that's empty because this one is already a smart object and I want it to be the size of the, of the entire canvas. So I'm going to make a new layer, select both, convert to smart object, boom, easy. So now what we're going to do is add the layer styles to this one. We're going to go to the effects panel, blending options. And in here, in order to the, the layers that we're going to apply afterwards to display correctly, we need to uncheck this box and check this one on top. Go to color overlay and set it to 50% black and 0% the other values. Click OK. And this is for when we maybe go in again and change the graphic. Maybe we import a red graphic or a black graphic and in activating this layer, it makes it more like standardized. Like it will always make it gray before applying the effects. So it, it will make a more consistent output of the effects every time we use it. We're going to go to the bevel and emboss and I already had set up here the, the effect. Copy the settings, the depth to around 500. The size will depend on whatever graphic you're using because it will depend if you're using a word or just a big letter or just a big logo. So here you can switch it around. Soften, if you start to see weird like jagged, like artifacts, like pixelation because the shape is too harsh or maybe the effect is not displaying correctly, you can bring the soften down or even more a bit, but working in smooth, I don't think you will have that, that problem. The size, again, play with it till you like it. The angle and altitude, let's leave it at this. The gloss contour, again, the shape. Make sure that the, your highlights are on screen and shadows on multiply. I don't like to leave like pure white for the highlights and pure black for the shadows because it, it doesn't look as natural, you know? But yeah, once we have this, we're gonna add a contour. And a contour, what it does is it adds the shape. It adds another iteration of it to the descent of the bevel. So you can see here how it adds another like mountain to the radius of the bevel. So it gives that cool like double lip effect that I really like. We're gonna leave it like this. And now what we're gonna do, we're gonna add a satin. And the satin, what we're gonna do, we're gonna play a bit with it, with the opacity on the multiply. And let's see what happens if we make it more aggressive. Increase the size a bit. Yeah, something like that works. Once we have this, we can click OK. Now what we're gonna do, just to see the effect better, we're gonna make a background for this, solid color in black. Bring it to the back. Okay, and now we're gonna add some reflections to this. To do this, we're gonna create a new layer and with the, with the gradient tool, we can grab, maybe make a gradient, something like this. It doesn't have to be like really crazy. These are all from my, from my pack that I have, uh, a bunch of gradient maps. There is a bunch of free ones in my site, so you can go grab them. I wanna make something, something like this. This I think works. We're gonna make it like linear from top to back. Something like this. We're gonna go do a filter, liquefy, and we're gonna mess around with it. Make it like some crazy shapes, something like this. And with the reconstruct tool, you go over it a bit and you see how it creates those nice, like, we're gonna go in again with the push tool and smear it around. Once you have something you like, I like to also go to transform. You can do that by going to edit, pre-transform. And I'm gonna click this icon here to do the, the wrap distortion and maybe bring this point a bit 
below and this one rises it a bit to get some nice reflections, something like this, distorted. Now we're gonna clip it to the layer below and set it to overlay, right? Now we're gonna make another layer and with the brush tool, with a soft white brush tool, we're gonna do a dot like this. We're gonna transform it. And again, with the rub distortion, we're gonna make something like this. So we get like a smear of light that we can drag around to to maybe bring a highlight to the place to a place we want something like this again we're gonna clip to the layer below set to overlay mode and you see how we can move this around to give a bit more light to places we want you can maybe the light one turn it to to add so you can have a bit more control of the things you're showing or not in the in the reflections so maybe like this and we can duplicate it again and invert it with Control I or go to image adjustment and invert. But now, like, because it's black, you need to turn it to, to multiply or even overlay. Multiply and clip it to the layer below. And now you can move it around and you have control over that one now. Maybe bring the opacity down so it's not that harsh. And you can use it to change the, the focal points of attention in your piece. A little bit more deliberately. Bring the fill of this one a bit back and the multiply also. And this layer, you can also move it around, right? You can move it around, shrink it, and play around with it till you get something that you think is cool, right? That's perfect. So now what we're going to do is we're going to grab all those layers, all these layers, and we're going to make a group, a group out of them, except the background. And now we're going to go to image, no, sorry, layer, new adjustment layer. We're gonna grab a gradient map, click OK, and we're gonna clip the gradient map to the group. And then it applies only to the shape we did with the smart layer and the and the glimmers, right? The reflections. So now we're going to the the gradient map and we're gonna grab something like this, maybe like this, a bit harsher. You can copy this, all of this. Remember, guys, that this template will be for free for you to download on my Gumroad in the links below. This one maybe make it a bit clearer you can copy this gradient map once we have something like this now we can add a color correction to it to really change the the tone of it give it that more metallic feel to it and to do that we're going to do the layer new adjustment layer color balance and we're going to clip that to the layer below of course and we're going to go to the shadows and we're going to make it hard on the science and the blues Remember that one of the key here is to make the, the shadows cool and the highlights like a bit warmer, the mid tones a bit less cyan and a bit less blue, but still in that direction, something like this, maybe add a bit of green and the highlights, we're going to go the other way around, but just a tad, a bit of red and a bit of yellow. And you see, it's just like that, it's going to look amazing. And now you can always come back and maybe move this a bit and see how it reacts with the other changes that we, we've done till now, right? I really like that, that it does there. You can maybe move this one. And you can also keep adding shapes to really give it your the feel that you're going for, right? Let's move the one below. I think that looks amazing like that. I like it. Okay, guys, <laughs> now that we have this, uh, what we need to do is we're gonna grab everything and make it a smart layer. But bef af before that, we're gonna disable this, right click, convert to smart object. And now we're gonna add a background to this. I've done this be because now we're gonna add the bloom and the haze of the reflections to the image, right? So when we, so that is the step we're gonna do now. So maybe you want to go back and you're gonna start playing with this, but to really see what you're doing, maybe you need the background here and then you edit it in this part and then you turn the, the background off and you go back to the, the new step, right? So that's the purpose of doing the background and disable it before making the smart object. So now what we're gonna do, we have this, that will be the the art template and we're gonna do the, the blooms and the, and the glimmers. So to do that, we need to duplicate this layer. We're gonna go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur. We're gonna give it a fairly aggressive Gaussian blur because this will be the hazing on the image, something like this. And we're gonna change the blending mode to linear dodge or add. And now to have a bit of more control over it and, and get rid of some of the darker parts, we're gonna add an image adjustments and curves to it. You can see here 
in the infograph of the image how most of the values that are showing are in this part you see how if i turn it up it gains a lot of brightness and if i move this part it doesn't really change a lot so we're going to do here and in the these dark parts we're going to take it down a notch something like that and here you you can really play to start the experiment to see what what looks fire and what not maybe like this whoa what, what the fuck is that looks cool though but we're going to do this control make it look intentional like like this that looks fire then you can even go back to the gaussian blur and maybe change it make it a little bit softer see what happens doesn't look as cool and let's make it a bit more aggressive it's fire okay so once we have this we're gonna make another duplicate we're gonna go to filter blur motion blur we're gonna give it a nice angle something like this and make the stroke really aggressive and now the same concept we're gonna add a image adjustment and curves and we're gonna do the same till we get something that that we like something like this i forgot to set the blending mode to maybe screen or in the dodge again let's go back to the curves with this one you can play maybe a little more see what happened maybe if i do something like this you get you can get some cool effects you need to play around with it but the one that i'm going to show you now let's make something like this and you get that like those those nice strokes like of light from the reflection something like that works right that's perfect now we're going to add the noise to the image for that what we're going to do we're going to make a new layer we're going to make edit fill 50% gray and to this we're gonna add a filter pixelate pontigize and we're gonna give it this lowest value we can three and you see this gives us like a really like thick noise like little dots that I really like it's more grainy it has a more like a tactile feel than the regular noise and to this what we're gonna do is gonna go to image adjustments uh, black and white to get rid of the tonal variation click OK and set this to overlay or for soft light and there you have it a really nice a really nice chromey effect let's add the little sparkles to top it off to do that let's make a new layer and grab the brush grab a color white and make some a nice dot in the middle now we're going to transform with ctrl t or edit retransform and we're going to shrink it and we're going to make it really large something like this now to this we can go to filter blur motion blur and give it an horizontal like blurring something like this and now again we can enlarge it and make it a bit thinner and to this what we're gonna do is we're gonna duplicate it transform it and pressing shift we're gonna rotate it so it's in exactly 30 degree increments grab these both layers duplicate it with pressing alt and dragging them ctrl t to transform again pressing shift so we get something like this here you can play around you can maybe make this pair make it a little smaller a little, a little larger maybe you can add more steps so once we have this we're gonna merge the layers and in the center we're gonna add a little like boop of of light right Make it really, really subtle don't overdo it i put it in the center and just one tick. that's done my guys now let's put it let's name the layer sparkle and make it a smart object this way we can duplicate it and, and shrink it and enlarge it and it won't, it won't lose the quality so once we have this we can move it around put it in a place it makes sense move them across the image there's something here let's make another one in the bottom part like and I like to bring the opacity down of these ones just a bit like that and bring the noise on top of everything. So, and just like that, my guys, there you have it. Remember that you have the free template to download in the link below. That was it, my guys. I hope you liked it and hopefully learned something. If you wish to support the channel further, I've made a selection of over 25 more layer styles and gradient maps that you can combine in this template for infinite combinations of chrome madness if that doesn't take your fancy i have a lot of other more assets such as texture graphics packs mockups even more gradient maps a bunch of free stuff so you can check it in the link below also please go follow me on my instagram where i post all of my art and my pieces and the new resources that i'll be dropping more tutorials and graphic design content so you don't miss any of those so yeah that's it my guys hope you liked it and see you in the next one talk peace wish you conflict my guy